Hey, it's me, it's me, it's Brandon T here. Welcome back to the Painting with Magic show. And today we're going to continue with our little primary art course. The last week we've done two big old mountains uh, with great big old trees and all that good stuff. I'll show you some basic mixtures. And today we're going to be doing a similar painting, but we're going to be putting a waterfall in there. Uh, do it just a little bit differently. So what I have here is the same colors I used last week, and I have those go across the screen for you. And so what we have here, again, is a 16 by 20 canvas. I have amazing white medium on here. And uh, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to take the uh, brush, and let's do, a, let's do a, uh, a sunset or a sunrise or whatever you want to call it today. So we'll take some yellow and mush it over here and just tap it just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Good. And we do an X stroke. Now X stroke is just a backhand, forehand stroke. There we go. And these beautiful colors are Grimbrocker pre-tested. They're good paints. Okay. Now also, the um, in the uh, link in the description, I'm going to have a, a place where you can find some pictures of this. Because as we do this, we're going to take pictures step way all the way through. We're going to take some pictures. And there's also going to be a color chart. So make sure you click the link in below. And it'll go right to the website. Alright? So, okay. Let's grab some red now. This is Napathol red. Just a little bit of that. Strong color. Ah, get in there, monkey face. There we go. Soft and just really soft and kind of pink. A little bit more over here. It's a good one. I'm going to use an X strokes. Same old stroke. Now as I get into this yellow, I feather it. I get softer. I get softer on it. There we go. Then for the blue, I'll take, this is important, just a, a tiny little bit. Just, ooh, just a little bit. Munch it around down here. And then I go back up here. Well, just a tinting of the blue. Tinting of the blue, tinting of the blue. Maybe more, maybe just a little bit more blue. Rub it down here, rub it down here. Just down there, just a little bit. I want to get just a little stronger. And I got to be careful because if not, I'll, I'll turn this thing fully blue. So I'm just using a little bit at a time. There we go, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted right there. Good color, that's a good blue. And this is Prussian blue and it's strong. Okay, and I feather it in. Okay, good, good. Good, there, there we go. Now I want to do, I want to show you how to do a shadow cloud. I've not done a shadow cloud in a long time, so let's do that. I'll take my number six fan brush, and I'll make a shadow color. We'll take some red, and we'll munch it down here. More blue. More blue. Munch it in. Good. Maybe more red. That's good. And then... I don't want to get my white too dirty, so I'll take a little white, I move it down there, and then I'll just take a little bit and I mush it right here to see what I got. Okay, it's too blue. He's a little more red. Okay, let's go back up here, and then I put my cloud in. Big beautiful shadow cloud. Get it on like that. Then I'm gonna wash the brush, and I'm washing it in mineral spirits. It's oldest mineral spirits. Don't beat these out. I must smacked off some of the paint thinner off into the bucket. Okay, and dry it off. Then I'll come back with a fresh dry brush. And then I'll start pulling these out on the edges because I want the feather out on the top. Wipe it off. 
Oh yeah, it's good. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed last week's lesson. It was an awesome lesson. I love using the primary colors. They're they're fantastic to use. A lot of people think you gotta have a ton of colors. You don't have to have a ton of colors. And I want to do this little free program because I get so many questions on uh, primary colors and people who are beginners say, "Man, I cannot afford these paints. They're too expensive, and I just can't get into it." So the primary colors are just fantastic to use. Okay, now see there's a beautiful, beautiful cloud. And as you can see, that's the same exact color as it mixed with the amazing white, as it mixed with these colors around it, it kind of feathered out lightly. And we washed the brush and cleaned it, and we made sure we feathered these edges. Really nice. Really good. There we go. And I think that's all I wanted to do for that cloud. See? Easy. Now I want to do some trees back here. Let's do some trees. Let's take some blue and some red and some yellow. And I'll mix it up real good. And these are about uh, about a 50-50 mixture here, but I have more red in it, so I'll take more 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 yellow. I'll take a scoop more blue. Good color. Then I'll take this little white we had over here and see what we got. Need more yellow in it. I want it to be on more on the green side. Hope you can see this good. All this mixing. Okay. Good color. And then just check what you got. Wipe off that knife and grab some white and then mix it down here. I can see it's a good color. That's a good color. Clean the knife. Make sure you clean your knife. It's good to clean the knife. Then I'll grab that big old brush and we just tap into the to the paint. Not a lot of pressure, just tapping it in there. Okay. Real good. Now let's get a good close up up here. And then we just start tapping in trees. Beautiful trees. Beautiful trees. Okay. More trees. And this big brush gives you some different trees than the one inch brush will. These are awesome trees. These are big old fat trees. I'm just tapping. I'm leaving them open on top. You see that? See if you can get a close up on this for me because that shows you some really good details you did in just two seconds. See those beautiful little details. Okay, I'm going to show you a close up here of how I've done it. Okay, so I've got this brush. This brush is my signature brush. It's open. These brushes are made open. They're made to not be tight and packed together. Okay? So now we go over here. Good close up. I reload the brush and I just tap the brush with the pen like I did a little ago. Then I was very touching it. And as you can see, it just does it for me. It does it for me. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. And there we go. Mm, like this to make some water. And clean the brush off. Like that. Come on, and get rid of the dark color down here because you don't need this white. So get rid of that white on there. We don't want to see that through. Like that. Reload brush. Put it into water. Back to paint. Good color. Good color. Okay. There. Boom. I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm washing this brush into Orless Mineral Spirits. 
And then I drain it against this bucket. Okay. Then I have another waste basket over here to the side. You can see. Now I shake it off into that waste basket. I can recycle that paint thinner later. Then I go into this bucket and spatter it out. Then I mop it off on that little rag. Tells you what, let's rip that off. We throw it into trash bag. And dry it off some more. Okay, good. Nice dry, clean, dry brush. And then back here. I'll use my knife and I'm just going to do some of the things like this. And that's going to give me some details. Look at them back there. Some trees. Give this whole thing some bones so it can stand. And these are going to be silent details. That means if someone comes here and puts their eyeballs in there, they're going to see something. Okay? Give them something to look at. All right? Now we take just a tiny bit of white. And some amazing white. Get just a little bit. And hopefully it's a little bit. I hope it doesn't do much. There. I just want to show some things back there. Don't want to be too, too bright. Basically today, and basically I want this little program to be limited tools too. So limited paint, limited tools. Alright. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to do this with limited stuff. I'll take that same brush and I'm just going to tap back over them just to throw them back in the background just a little bit more. Okay, good. Now let's put some highlights back here. Let's take a similar two inch brush and then yellow tap it into that paint okay good and let's see what we got just touch just touch it in there just touch it back there oh you should barely touch it if it's not sticking that means that means you got not enough medium in there barely touching that very touching. Oh, gentle. Okay. And the only wobble you're seeing is this canvas moving. That's it. Just that canvas. I'm not hitting it hard at all. Very touching it. Just to get some things back here. Just some background trees. And I'm letting it shadow. So as that paint darkened, I'm shadowing this side now. And I let it shadow down as I go down. It gets darker there and darker everywhere. Okay. That's nice. That's good. Now I'll take a one inch brush and I'll maybe I want to put some more detail in that. A little easier to get more detail with the one inch. And maybe a touch of that darker color with it. Hope you can see all that. Okay, and we get a good close up of some trees back here. And just tap it. If it's not sticking, more amazing light. Boom, 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 boom. Trees. More trees, more details on them trees. Very touching. Good. There's a good stuff. All right. Now that has to go into the water. That same good stuff has to go into the water. And it doesn't have to be accurate. It just needs to be in there. Okay. That way it makes that water looks more realistic. In my classes, I usually start my students off with the primary colors. Then, and we start simple, and then we start working up and working up. And then we start going into other colors. But we start off with the primaries. 
in my classes. And that way they're not overwhelmed with a million colors. Make sure this brush. We can just have more brush we use for that other stuff. Dirty brush. And then we're going to pull it down. And then we go across it. Okay. Just like that. And we'll just... Okay. I want to put some big tall grass liquor. Let's push up the brush. Like that. Reload it in paint. More medium. And push it up. Some tall grass backer. Maybe it goes like that. Bang, there's another one. It goes like that. And then into the water it goes too. Pull it down. And I go across it. Grr. That's good. Then we could put with the knife some water lines. Using amazing white and some titanium white. I like to use that mixture together. And we know we don't know where it goes. Okay. Make it straighter. Okay. I like that pretty good. Now I need to figure out where I want a waterfall to go. So I take this blue and red. And there's some yellow there too. Who cares? And I want my waterfall to go right in here. Zoom right there it goes. Yeah, we could try something here. Maybe take some white, an amazing white together. Who knows? Like that. And give it a little push. Boom! There we go. Big stroke. Look at that. Wipe off the brush a little bit as you go so you're not dirtying the paint. A little more amazing white. And the one inch brush. Give it a chiseled edge almost and push just a little bit. And come over here and just wipe off. Boom. Look there. Right there. Let it zoom backwards. Zoom all around. Make some water movements. Movements, movements in the water. Kind of splashes there. And then back to Amazing White again. And I'll give it another push. Maybe there's a little boom or another little. Maybe hit a rock. Zoom. Zoom another one. Right there. Good. It goes out. Those are cool. Good waterfall. So just a waterfall with a one inch brush. Okay, that's good. Water, water movement. Water goes bang. Waterfall. Okay, simple. Okay, now we need to make rocks in here. Because if not, this waterfall shouldn't be sitting there. So let's take. And let's make green with yellow and blue. And then we take some red to make a brown. Took it there. It's coming together. 
that brown more red ooh too red more yellow and then I'll drop some blue in and my brown's back again there's my brown again might be a little blue darker in there and that's what I got up here. That might work good for undertone. But I want darker tone. I want that for top tone, I mean. I want this to be undertone color, darker. And I want boulders in here. I want boulders. Big old boulders in there. There's a boulder. Darken it up real good. And boulders are good. I go back to blue and red again. I'm just making a dark color. I take a touch of yellow in it. Boom, oh, a big old boulder there. And ain't this like that. Who knows where that one came from there, right? And then it goes up and down and up and down. We fill it in. And then I need the one the overlap here, the front one to go darker. So it's darker. good there some boulders and I would love to do some more details but I tried to make it as quick as possible because people don't like watching a really long video okay but I need lighter here and darker here as they go to the top darker the way that it pushes all that pushes all that pushes all that Then I come back with the fan brush and I can touch some things. So you can see you do it with a orange brush if you don't have a fan brush. But I really like to do the fan brush, tiny little, tiny little final detail on it. Snare it, tiny, tones it up a little bit. That's good. Okay, and then I take titanium white and I mix it just on a little bit part of this. Now, anytime you're highlighting rocks, we usually say you need a thick, bold paint, right? But if you're using a brush to highlight rocks, you need to thin it down. So we'll pop a little amazing white in there with it. Okay, now that's good. And give it a push up. And then we touch. Oh, good. This that's good. I love it. Oh, there's another little one there. Now I'm not gonna go crazy and same with the detail on it. I was going to kind of say, oh, there's a boulder. Another one there. I'm gonna have grass and trees over here anyway. So, oh, that's good there. On this side too. This side too. Beautiful. Dab strokes.
and this paint is just a tiny bit thinner than the paint underneath it. Remember that. If it's too, too, too thin, it's going to make mud. And if it's too thick, it, it's, it's going to make mud too. It's not going to work. So it's got to be just a little bit thinner than the other layer. But there's another little peak, a little boulder. I love these smoother tones right next to waterfalls. Smoother, smoother textures. Okay, then I'm going to go lighter. So I'll take more white and more amazing white next door to it. Always see how I'm working. Darker, middle tone, lighter tone. Okay, don't work right dead middle because you're going to get a bad mixing. You're not going to get it good. It's going to be tougher. It's just faster to do this way too. It's faster. And see now I'm going a little bit lighter. So I can show more, more of that. It's a little lighter now. Okay. That's good, Boulder. Another little one. This is a real light stroke too. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down. My hand's way back here on the brush. Way back here on the brush. Over there is a little bit. If you want to see the strokes, the brush strokes are going to give you some textures on these boulders. You can even go with an overhand grip. That make it might make it a little easier. In here. Overhand grip, we've done it before on the show. It's like more of a classical style painting holding in a brush. It allows that paint to come off the brush smoothly. So we come over here, put a little dirt here and there. Hopefully you can see really good in here what I'm doing. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a little more white medium only and I'm going to work right next door to that. And this is where I just come in here and I just go dot or two to say, oh, there's some light hitting there, 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 there. A few little spots. Oh, there's a little bit. And this brush is heavy. Look how loaded that is. Really loaded up. Okay. Alrighty, good. Now, I will take a rag. I'll wipe out that brush. Wash it in paint thinner. Mineral spirits. Oh, this mineral spirits. And wipe it off. Okay. Now I want to do some grasses in here. And I'll just take that old once brush we used earlier. And I'll grab some darker color with it. And then I want tall grass. So I push up the brush. And if I need a little amazing light. I'll just grab some of this over here to the side. It has a little thin, a little dirty color. Oh, look at those. Old raggedy grass. There's some water moving back here somewhere and it goes down here and splashes. That's why it's there. And then maybe there's a sand bank in there. I'll take some of this brown we made and some white and a fan brush. And there could be some sand that's there. 
You're just seeing some of this. Down here, you don't know what's going on. Could be some there too. On both sides. I'm sand. I know whenever I was little we go to Femmer Union there'd be sand banks up on the sides there and you jump off these rocks. Split your wig. Okay. Just like that. I just want to do something different that we ain't done before in a while on the show. And show you how to do it with primary colors. I'm going to take a little bit more white, medium, amazing white. And make it just a little brighter, a little brighter in some spots. If you ain't putting color in, I don't know what's wrong with you because that's what it's about for me. Painting is just all about all them colors. It's really popping colors in and out, in and out. And I will thin down some paint with some make thinner. Oh, I gotta take the little top off. A little paint thinner. And then I'll take some white and some just brown we made. Almost like a sienna color there. Almost like a burnt sienna or so. And we can come here and just pop in a few little details. Maybe there's some bushes or trees that's here. More paint thinner. If it's not coming off the brush, more thinner. Or medium. Medium is also good. Um, I usually like using medium because it allows it to move smoother. Maybe there's a few over here. Oh, there's a few. I'll go into this dark, this yellow color, I mean. And then we can throw maybe some tall grasses up against these rocks. more thinner in that but I do hope you enjoyed painting with me today this one here's almost finished uh, it was fun to do I'm going to have the color chart on there what the color chart will have it'll have the the beautiful mixture colors it'll have this cloud it'll have the tree color it'll have the rock color on there the rock highlight color and probably the sand and I may have the, the grassy colors on there too but what those do is it allows you to see some of the colors that I used on here. And then I'll come in here and just right there at the beach on the sand. Just smack that into it because that'll kind of bring it all together. Okay. Wash that brush too. And then more white, doing the last thing to it, white medium, and paint thinner. I think you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to splatter. Okay, I'll set my palette down. splatters oh yeah that makes them go good okay then I'm going to thin down some paint and sign my painting we'll use amazing white and titanium white and a little thinner with that and I'll just sign my painting over here hope you enjoyed painting with me today I enjoyed painting these videos for you and helping you out uh, if you need any art supplies, please check out brandthomasartsupply.com. Every single purchase helps me make more videos, more programs like this one. Uh, because we don't make hardly anything off these videos. Because we do a few little ads, but we don't make much off of it. Everything you get from the store really helps us go on. And you get a good product. Okay, you get a good product. Okay, so if you need any help, just let me know. I'm always happy to help you. Remember to visit the link in the description to find the color chart and step photos with this. Um, so, check it out. This is an awesome painting using the primary colors and a few tools. You can paint this. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, guys. It's easy to do it. 
and you can do that. This one's ready for the art gallery. So is yours. And a brown tea. We'll see you soon. <laughs>